I decided I would make my proposal in relationship to the old building. Every other artist made their proposal in relationship to the new building, mm -hmm. to the new structure that was being built. Uh, and I decided to make it very specifically in relationship to the existing architecture. Let's say as an idea that, so it was the architecture and the form as reflective of a philosophical attitude. Then the next part of my interest was, okay, this is a library, I'm in a really rich moment in Los Angeles, there are amazing writers living here. So I chose a number of them who were not yet in the collection of the library but it had all been published. So they had books or publications, mm -hmm. but they weren't in that collection. And I decided to use their first and last names in the different quadrants of all that writing you see yeah. on that script. On one side it's their first names, on the other side it's their last, and then they're mirror reversed. I ended up being an, in, uh, in, at incredible odds with the architect of the new space. I was wanted to yeah. make my composition symmetrical. And he thought he could get away with doing that. He actually tried to insist that I line everything up and that I straighten it all out. Because what's, I think, dynamic about the composition and, and the piece to me is that you can move anywhere in the room and it constantly changes. Mm -hmm. That there is no one privileged vantage point, uh, which is part of symmetry. There's always a privileged vantage 